Alright everyone, so we finished healing up all our people in the town there, uh, in their beds, so now that all they're all healed, we need to organize our loot. Some of our people picked up quite a bit of loot, so it's time to go sell all that, unload, maybe pick up a few other supplies. Uh, I think we could use some blueprints, not sure if we'll be able to afford any. I think, I think right now we just need to sell this stuff, get back to town. Start researching because research does cost money, and I don't really want to blow too too much off right now. But let's let's make sure everybody's nice and equipped, since we did pick up quite a bit. Sandals increases your athletic ability and your run speed, so everybody should have sandals uh, in your party. It's just really helpful, um, and we should be able to get a chest piece on every person in the group, and a sword for everyone, at least a sword upgrade, uh, and uh, then we'll just sell whatever we have left over. Then we'll head back to town and start researching, so that way we can get uh, through to building. So, uh, stats really haven't changed too much from what I can tell from the last few times we played through. Same thing where uh, certain parts will uh, be protected, so like your chest will be protected by the chest, uh, your heart protector, whereas your right arm, leg, things like that, those aren't really protected by your uh, the chest piece that I'm putting on these guys right now, since it's a light chest piece that I looted. Um, I've noticed there are broken items in game now. Uh, you saw a little bit of that in th some other episodes, and those really don't have any stats that are helpful whatsoever. Uh, it's like 0.00% protection, so I guess if you have absolutely nothing on, you might want to put that on, but yeah, it's pretty much worthless. It's not even worth selling. And the armor can sell for quite a bit still, which is nice to see. Uh, so, and uh, weapons, weapons are... Eh. You don't really, you still don't really find much when you kill bandits in terms of weapons. They're mostly horse choppers, but uh, some armor is better than no armor. So I'm gonna distribute all the armor out, make sure everybody's nice and armored up. And I think I'll have the people who are carrying backpacks have the heavy, heavy armor and the heavy weapons because they're already slow. And to try and make them a fast fighter probably isn't a very good idea. So if I can just give them uh, the heavy stuff, that way they'll at least be protected while they walk around, uh, and they won't be complete sitting ducks while they're we're under attack. And then the people who aren't carrying the big backpacks, they'll have the lighter weapons, so that way they can maneuver around and kill people a lot quicker. And uh, maybe I'll have one or two big guys who don't have um, backpacks who have a ton of armor and uh, big weapons, so that way they can kind of soak up the damage there. Taunt is now an ability, which is awesome. Maybe it was in there before, but I can have them go taunt now, and then I'll leave the other guys, like, uh, block only. I'll put block only on my, uh, the guys who have backpacks, so that way they can defend themselves. Um, and also, notice when I right-clicked on one of the characters, there's a bodyguard option. I assume that just means they're gonna kind of tag along and, uh, protect your character. Uh, and here's an interesting thing. I now have to sell weapons at a weapons vendor. I think. That guy, or that, or that guy just didn't have any money. But it wasn't letting me sell my weapons at the uh, other vendor, so uh, I had to sell them here. See all the blueprints for all the different kind of weapons? They're all pretty useless right now for me, because I don't have even a weapons crafting bench, so they would literally be sitting around taking up inventory space, which is pretty valuable. So, um, looks like we're not going to be purchasing any blueprints, but, uh, hey, we still have some building supplies. That's always a good sight. And a lot of people, actually, we picked up here had, uh, had quite a few med kits, which is wonderful. Uh, I don't have a dedicated doctor. Oh, that guy might be a dedicated doctor. Jin there, he, he had quite a few med kits. We might make him the dedicated doctor. Uh, so that way they use their, uh, med kits more efficiently. Also, if you want to sell anything, here's the issue. You need to talk to the guy. I remember now. You need to talk to the guy, and there you go. See, it worked. So, if you want to sell items, you cannot just right-click the bench. You need to actually right-click the vendor himself, ask him to see what he's got, and then you can right-click, control, right-click, sell everything. Uh, unfortunately, that guy's full. But, yeah, I can sell everything to everyone now. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead here to when we get back to town and get back to researching and building. So we're back in our little town here, and uh, here is the skill menu still. Uh, I don't know like much has changed in terms of uh, the skill menus, uh, other than, of course, the turret option there. 
But uh, when it comes to crafting things like that, I know the way you level up items there, as you can see, uh, toughness, XP bonus, things like that. I don't know what the mo how you modify those. I believe, if I remember correctly, it was in order to get better athletics, you have your character run with a heavy like a backpack on, so they have a lot they have a heavy weight. They're over encumbered, but they're running around. That'll increase their athletic ability more. So I guess they'll get a multiplier for that. As for toughness. I don't know what you get the multiplier from that on. Maybe the less armor you have. Because <laughs> I know they did say it was based more on how much damage you take rather than, you know, just the quality of the item that's hitting you. So it's how much damage you're being, you're, you're sustaining on your character now. So um, I'll have to revisit that to kind of come up with a better list there. But I'm pretty sure that's how that works right now. Uh, then a look at the heart protectors. They're not, they're not terrible. They'll protect the chest, so, I mean, it's better than nothing, which is what we had before. And you can make clothing, so that's good. We will be making clothing as soon as we get the chance, which will give us some protection to the body and to the arms from cutting, I believe. I don't think it protects much from stabbing. But I'm not sure if there's actually heavy armor crafting, but that'll be interesting to see. Uh, we can also build a rum still now, so uh, now would be a good time to get a rum still set up, uh, because why not? Let's build a rum still. Get our rum operation grow, uh, going here. And uh, once we have that set up, we'll have some rum. We can sell that for a lot of money. Thing is, you need quite a bit of manpower to do that. I mean, you'll need, well, I say quite a bit. You'll need at least four people, though. One on the rum still. Actually, no, you need five almost. Because one well will supply a wheat field, right? With all of its water. The issue is. One well is not enough to supply both a rum still and a wheat field. So what I need to do is I need to have two wells up. Now there is an upgrade for automatic wells, so I won't have to have somebody on the well, and that'll cut down on two people, which will be great. Uh, and you know, I probably won't be producing any rum right now because I don't need money. I've got a fair amount of money right now, more than I'll uh, need to get to level two at least, and we've got a ways to go to level two. We're just now researching trading dummies, so. If you saw the research list earlier, we've got a ways to go, um, but that's okay. We've got time. So the rum still is already built, even though they increased the uh, construction time there. It's still not too bad, not too bad. Uh, when you build buildings, you notice it more. Uh, research time sped up slightly. I think the issue still is, I still have an issue with this research time. And I think this is going to be a hard issue to balance out properly, is research takes forever to do. And I know he's been adding, or the developer, I don't know, uh, the developer has been adding um, some events to kind of spice up the mid-game, so you know how the guys raided me, <laughs> which was interesting to say the least. Got a lot of loot out of it, though, and my toughness increased on some of my guys. But, uh, and they did lower the research time it still would be nice to get that a little lower or just an alternative way of or some way of getting that research to go faster because it it's still a long grind to get all that stuff in where i'm essentially just harv farming up this uh wheat here and then just harvesting a ton of building materials which i mean they're just going to sit there until i have the research to store them in a bin and then once they're in a bin i have nothing else to do so is it the mid game or the early game? I suppose is a bit slow, but uh, once we start building our weapons, I think we can start going out on more adventures. Because I think this this playthrough, I want to have more adventures with our group. I want to go out and uh, take on those bandit camps now that they exist. See if I can defeat them. That's going to be our goal: is to take out every single bandit camp. <laughs> it's going to be tough, but I think we can do it. We can cleanse this world of banditry. We just need the proper equipment, which is going to take a while to research. But hey, maybe uh, maybe we'll get attacked. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut ahead here to uh, when we start building a little bit more, start developing our base a little more. You can saw there, I see there, I started a new little session. <laughs> Since it does take a little while to get all this stuff done. So we'll cut ahead here now to uh, when I get through. Uh, there's the clothing manufacturer. That's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know why I didn't add that to the queue. Maybe it wasn't avail available to begin with, but uh, now I have that. So I went ahead and added that to the queue. That's going to be handy. 
Also, this is past an update. Uh, an update just came through. Notice the population growth is no longer there on the towns. That's interesting. Not sure what the developers plan to do with that. But we'll revisit the town here as soon as we uh, start building things. Okay, so we are back into the town. And um, things are progressing nicely now that we've got the uh, research done. That was a... Uh, about 30 minutes of research that we skipped. And now we are into the construction phase. So I've got some stuff to build. Uh, I needed a new building to put all my training dummies in and the storage crates. Uh, as you can see here, the guys tend to want to run back uh, and to their regularly assigned jobs when they run out of building supplies. Which sucks, because I keep having to reassign them. So what I end up doing here is I just tell them, listen, your main job is now going to be an engineer. Whenever a building needs to be built, everybody's going to leave their secondary job and go build it. And then they'll return to their job of mining and things like that. And that's a better way of setting up. Very efficient. That way you don't need to worry about telling them, oh, go click this and stop running away to go do your other job you need to build. And so they will. It prevents you from having to reassign them all the time. Um... So once we have this building up, what I'm envisioning is inside of our little square, the center is going to be dominated by the big circle outpost building, and that's going to be the main hub. Uh, then we're going to have a shop on either side of the gate, and then this is kind of like the how the starting structure, our little, our smaller headquarters, which will eventually grow into the outpost. But we'll build a saloon on either side of the gate, uh, which I haven't decided where the gate will be, but I will put a gate in there surrounded by a wall. We have yet to research walls, but we will research walls and we will put those up. We'll have the center building, a circle building. We'll have this as our current little outpost, so that way we have beds in there, essentially. That's what we're going to have. We're going to have beds, we're going to have storage, and we're going to have a training dummy in there. Uh, so that's going to be handy. We'll keep that nice and locked up because, keep in mind, bandits can now access your storage and take them. So we're still going to put our building supply storage and our mine store or our stone storage outside. I think those have to be outside. Maybe not, but we're going to put those outside. Uh, they got new models, and the models look good. I do like the new models for those. We'll see those here shortly. Um, and I will put those up outside near the mine, so that way they don't need to run back and forth. It just wastes of time. So good to have it all compartmentalized. That'll be the industrial sector. And here we have kind of the barracks headquarters start. So we'll cut ahead to when all the building is complete, so that way you can see what the new models look like. So here's the interior of the uh, building that we just built here. I, uh, as you can see, I have four beds, and I have a training dummy, and two lockbox training boxes, which I'm interested to see how that goes. I, obviously, that's for picking locks. So I put two down, and I'll have a guy start training on that. <clears throat> I'm interested to see if they actually can get captured. Uh, and if so, if that little lock picking skill will come in handy. I'm sure when we raid the enemy base over there, the bandit camps, there might be people in cages that we can free. Or we can break into their storage and take their stuff, which means there's a lot of good loot there. That'll be interesting. And then I have an armor storage over there and a weapon storage being built as well. So we should be able to sustain some uh, pretty heavy casualties in terms of uh, injury, and I can heal them up in the beds. Oh, I should be able to keep one guy training at all times, be it on lockbox or on the training dummy. I'll probably keep him on a training dummy until he reaches his usefulness, then I'll drop him onto the uh, lockbox there, and then I'll just switch out one person at a time, run through all that. Hopefully, we'll get to the point where I can have multiple people on there, multiple people on each, uh, but currently, don't have enough people to sustain that. We barely have enough people to sustain our current operation. I also put rum barrels in here, in a storage chest, just for extra storage, and uh, so that way we can store all the rum there. Keeps it nice and organized, and it looks nice. I like the barrels. There's the storage chest going down. And uh, as you can see, you can see kind of like the outlines of the wires by the uh, stone processor and the stone mine. That is where I put the stone storage and the building supply storage, which are out in the open. I can't lock the, uh, those uh, lock bandits out of those until I put defenses down, which is <clears throat> in the form of a wall and turrets. So that's something to keep in mind that they will be able to break into my stuff as well. 
So, uh, we're coming up on the 15 minute here mark here, everyone. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, tell your friends about this video. And I'll see you next time.